over a 47 years old male presented with headache and diplopia. He had right sided six nerve palsy. MRI of brain showed suspected right sided cavernous segment of IC aneurysm. MRI showed the right sided cavernous IC dissecting aneurysm. And we can see there was prominent ACOM complex, ACOM artery, and there was a stenosis of the right sided ICA in the supraclinoid region. So, it seems that there is a significant amount of cross flow from the opposite side. After talking with the patient family, we took decision for microsurgical management of the aneurysm, and we used right sided terrenal craniotomy, and we did right sided double barrel STMC bypass followed by ligation of the right ICA at the neck. Before right sided renal craniotomy, both brands of STA was harvested for double barrel STMC bypass as a donor artery. Then after craniotomy dura was open, craniotomy was right sided renal craniotomy and a suitable of uh, M4 segment of the MCA both above and below the sylvian fissure was identified and selected for double barrel STMC bypass. First, STMCA bypass was done on the frontotemporal side. This is the operation of the STA as a donor artery. Arterial end was prepared as a fish mouth appearance, which was arterial margin was highlighted with the tension violet stain. And this is the preparation of the another branch of the STA, same as before. Background was placed behind the recipient artery. So the clip was applied, the was made. Arteriotomy margin was stained with the tension violet. First heel and toe suture was given 10 0 taper cut nylon. Heal and to suture anterior and posterior wall of the anastomosis was made with continuous running suture. After completion of the anastomosis, 
Surgery cell was faced at the suture line. Temporary leaf was removed. Was checked to the mitral Doppler. Then another anastomosis, STMC anastomosis was made for bypass. Same technique was used for the anastomosis of this STMC bypass as seen before. The completion of the anastomosis, remove the temporary cleave first on the distal side, zinal side, on the lunar artery. After cessation of the anastomotic leaf, neck on the right side, and after identification of the internal carotid artery with ligating. Then the booth wound was closed accordingly with a proposition. The patient recovered well from anesthesia. She was put in the postoperative ward for postoperative management. CT scan on first postoperative test showed no hemorrhage or infarction. CT angiogram on first postoperative test showed absent right side internal carotid artery cavernous segment aneurysm, but still ICA is feeling patogadly. And CT angiogram on fifth postoperative day was repeated and it showed absent aneurysm and right sided ICA is faintly seen and bypass functioning and pattern bypass so STMC bypass can be seen in the CT angiogram. The patient recovered uh, uneventfully in his postoperative days and was discharged on sixth postoperative day with advice for regular follow-up. At discharge, he had six nerve palsy as pre-operative.